Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. This video is going to be a guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique pole hook called the Fish Catcher. And of course to acquire this weapon you will need the Far Harbor DLC installed. Then we need to come to the town of Far Harbor. Once here we need to visit Alan's store. And of course talk to Alan. Once here, head to Barter. Then at the very bottom of the weapons list, we will find the Fish Catcher. And of course, this weapons price will vary depending on your character's charisma level. Also, Alan doesn't take card, you will have to pay in catch. And of course on the map, in case you're confused in any way whatsoever, the town of Far Harbor can be found here on the island. As always, before looking at the Fish Catcher's base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the Fish Catcher. Now there's only one mod slot, and there's only one mod to go in that mod slot, which is the Puncturing modification, which adds armor piercing and superior damage. Specifically, it increases the base damage from 33 to 49. So now that we've modded it out, let's take a look at its base stats. It has a base ballistic damage of 49, its speed is slow, its weight is 9.8, and its value is 283 caps. But what makes this a very interesting and useful unique weapon, up the top we can see the Fish Catcher. 40% less action point cost. So, the fish catcher, the unique pole hook. Probably the biggest downside to this weapon is that its swing speed is slow. So outside of that, you will of course be hitting enemies quite slowly. Although to be honest, that's not too much of an actual issue because we can make this do huge damage, but we'll touch on that in a little bit. Now inside of that, the biggest downside to these big slow melee weapons is that they have a huge AP cost. But of course, the legendary effect on the fish catcher is that it costs 40% less action points inside of vats, almost removing that huge negative from this big slow heavy melee weapon. So it can be used inside of a single vat sequence more than any other heavy melee weapon, and of course the beauty of using vats is that its swing speed doesn't matter. So not only can it be used more frequently than other weapons of the same caliber, but its biggest drawback, its slow swing speed, is rendered non-existent inside of vats. So it is most certainly a very vats friendly weapon. Now although the base damage of 33 may not seem too impressive, with the strength of 11 and adding all of the appropriate perks, I was able to get the fish catcher's base damage over 300. So even outside of that, that's going to be an absolutely devastating smash to the head of your enemies. And then on top of that, if you're doing a critical hit or extra sneak damage, then bye bye fish pie. However, of course, inside that two, three, four swings of this in one sequence, you will be delivering irreversible damage to your foes. It also has this lovely, unique animation in which the player character swings the hooks down on top of the target's head, hooking their cranium directly into the fish catcher, and then via the top of the skull yanking them down onto the ground. And as bad as that is, it's still not as bad as some of my fishing experiences. So if you've ever thought something fishy is going on, it's not, it's just this weapon. Using this weapon is a fantastically hooking experience for both yourself and your nemeses, or just seas. And in my humble opinion, it's an absolutely fantastic catch. Yes, the puns are real. Specifically, a fishing reel. And here it is, the fish catcher in action. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, there is my guide to the unique pole hook, the fish catcher. I do hope that this video helped you in both finding it and understanding how it can be used to its best potential. If you did find this video helpful, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides. If you drink water daily, be sure to follow me on Twitter, the link will also be in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure in Far Harbor, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.